here's a bit of an oxymoron for you folks. Top 10 full moon movies. Yes, I know, full moon isn't necessarily what you would call good, but some of them are pretty solid, and I grew up on the stuff, so I'm a little bit more fond to it than most people. So with that in mind, let's count down the top 10 full moon movies. Okay, number 10. I'm going with the OG Killjoy. Is it that good of a movie? Not really. But it's fun, and if you had to rank them, I think I would take that one definitely over the rest of them, because it seems like it was a little bit more mean-spirited. Had a bit of an urban vibe to it, but, you know, if you got technical about it, I'm not sure if it was even released under the Full Moon banner when it first came out. Number nine, it is Puppet Master 3. I am in the indication that there's only three good Puppet Master movies, and that is the least of them. Number eight, lo and behold, it is Puppet Master 1. Solid movie. Started a whole franchise with a million sequels. Number seven, we have Arcade. And you'll have to forgive me, I'm going to flip this. I have some kind of weird full moon box set, and that's what they look like in it. So, Arcade, pretty neat for its time. I mean, it's, it's just overall cool cool movie. It's um, got some pretty good effects for the time in it, too. So, where's that on Blu-ray at, Mr. Band, if you're out there watching? Number six... We are going to pull the camera back just a hair, and we are going to put Puppet Master 2 down there. So yes, none of the Puppet Masters made my top of my full moon list, which some people might consider to be a bit blasphemous, but hey, I like them, but I don't love them. Number 5, Tourist Trap. Now, if they can release one of these that is uncut, that would be very nice. Love the mood and the vibe on that one. At number 4, we've got... Subspecies 2. That is the best subspecies movies and I have or movie there is out there. And trust me, I have seen them all, so I will definitely vouch for that. At number three, I am going to be honest with you guys, I pick this one mostly for Sherilyn Finn. It is uh or Sherilyn Finn, it is the Medarian. I'm, yeah, I believe that's how you pronounce that. She's nude in it. <laughs> it's a fantasy story. It's pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, give it a watch. It's a little bit different from your usual run-of-the-mill full moon stuff. At number two, we've got the Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball bowl of rama Now, that's just a fun movie. I don't. I, I would probably actually say this is a, a good movie in general, so if you haven't seen this one, seek it out. Uh, they're making a sequel for some reason. I don't know how I feel about that, but we shall see. And number one, the biggest crime in the fact that it's not on Blu-ray, it is... Bad Channels. Now tell me, where is the Blu-ray for Bad Channels? Is it, is it the Blue Oyster Cult music that's stopping it? I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, an alien taking over a radio station and unleashing a whole series of weird music videos, that's good stuff in my opinion. And it's the best thing Full Moon, I feel, has ever put out, even above the Puppet Master movies. So, have you seen these? Do you like these? Do you agree with me? If not... Let me know what you would put on the list, and can you tell me where the Bad Channel's Blu-ray is?